forget that I have to sit down. <laughs> it's Miss Elaine again from the Firehouse Art Center for our Monday drawing class. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Emma. Um, we are going into our week for mythological creatures, and we are going to be starting with our unicorns. So um, you guys got a little sneak peek just now of the unicorns that we are going to be drawing. Um, so hopefully you have all your supplies ready to go. And this one's a super easy class uh, You for supply wise. Um, all you need is your paper. If you want to draw with a pencil, you need your pencil. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you with a marker uh, one, so that it's easier for you guys to see. And also because um, these are just fun drawings. So sometimes when you draw with a marker, uh, you might get a little nervous because you can't erase, but these are just some sketches that we're gonna try out for today. And I'm gonna draw with a marker because, um, you know, if I make a mistake, I can always just grab another piece of paper and start over again. So I'm gonna be drawing with a marker for that reason. And, um, if we have time, we can also color them um, or you can color them after the end of class. And as always, please share your artwork. I love seeing them. I love posting them on the Facebook page. Um, and it's really fun just to see what you guys are creating at home. Uh, so if you're just joining, my name is Elaine. Uh, I am the executive director at the Firehouse Art Center. We're currently closed, uh, but we are looking at reopening as soon as it is safe to do so for our community. Um, we are offering these virtual art classes for kids Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We live stream at one, uh, but you can always watch on our Facebook page uh, at your own convenience and create your art whenever you uh, can find time to do that. Um, or you can go to our YouTube page and uh, all of our art classes are posted um, on there as well uh, the following week. Um, so we can get started. Uh, we're going to be doing these guys. Uh, it's the first day of our mythological creatures week. Um, on Mondays, I like to do drawing just to kind of ease us into the week. Tuesdays, we're going to do painting. I mean, Wednesdays, we're going to do painting. And then Fridays, we do a multimedia, hi, Jasmine, a multimedia collage or sculpture uh, class. So you're going to get uh, three different kinds of classes. Um, and usually they're on the same theme. Uh, there's a theme that goes throughout the week. This week is a little special because we are doing a adult watercolor class tomorrow with um, Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, it's going to be for their Tunes and Art Tuesday, and uh, you got a little sneak peek um, at the beginning of this class of the watercolor that we're doing, and I also posted a little teaser time-lapse uh, video on our Facebook page so you could see uh, quickly how uh, I put together the watercolor painting that we're going to do for that class tomorrow. So it's Tuesday tomorrow at 4 p.m., it's a watercolor mountain and the class really only takes around 12 minutes um, and it's a class that uh, you know would be good for older kids or adults. Um, it's kind of a beginner's class so it's really for anyone that's getting used to doing watercolors. Uh, if you don't have all the supplies you can use your kids supplies. So kids if you're parents steal your supplies tomorrow for my art class. Um, you know, let them because they need to create too. So I'm going to turn the screen down and we are going to get uh, drawing on some of these unicorns. So here we go. Okay. So here are our drawings for this week. I have a unicorn head. I've got this cute little unicorn that's sitting um it really could be any kind of animal but you kind of know it's a unicorn because it has its horn and uh the tail um if you took this away it could kind of look like a pig i guess but just goes to show you you can use the same kind of body shape for lots of different animals so if you get comfortable making this kind of animal you can change out the head and make it all sorts of different animals we've got this unicorn right here 
that's kind of flying through the air. This one's flying too. And that guy is standing. So we're going to do a couple of these. Um, and hopefully, after we do them, you get comfortable enough with your drawings that you can come up with all sorts of different unicorns uh, that you can do by yourself at home. So go ahead and grab your utensils, your uh, supplies, whether you're going to be drawing with a marker or with a pencil, and we are going to get started. Um, as I do every week, I am going to be drawing these upside down so that you guys can see them right side up. If it makes my, <laughs> just don't make fun of me if my unicorns look a little wonky because it's kind of hard to draw upside down, but I will try my best. So we're going to get started with this guy right here. Um, as a young artist, I drew lots of horses. Um, I loved horses as a young girl. So I drew lots of horses and unicorns are just horses with horns. So when I would draw horses, I start with his cheek. Now his cheek is really just a curved line. It looks like a smile and it's just like that. Now for drawing horses or unicorns, there's always this separate part of the horse's face. Then you come around and you do his nose and you come up and if you want, you can put his nostril in and his smile, okay? So that is the first part of our unicorn. If you want, you can add his eye. I guess it's, it could be a she too. Um, and eyelashes, or if you wanted, you can do an open eye just like this. Um, so now we have the cheek and the nose, and I'm gonna come down for his neck and just round it out like that, okay? Now we're gonna do the hair. which is like a curved teardrop and the horn. So for the horn, you can either just do a straight long triangle like that and then add the lines or if you want you can do each section separately so i like to demonstrate now that you've seen me draw that guy i'm going to move him to the side um, and i'm going to draw it again so for these drawing classes the first one i draw you can watch the second one we'll draw together and that way you're not distracted while you're watching me um, by drawing your own, okay? And it also gives me a second chance to draw it. So we're going to do the cheek first. So this line is the cheek. So the cheek, just a smiley face like that, just the smile. Then we're going to do his nose. So that is a separate part. Come up for the bridge of his nose. And then we're gonna do his neck coming down and curving it like that for this line, okay? Now you can add his nostril, which is just a C, or you can just do a line and the smile. If you want, you can make his little smiley line like that. And this one I'm gonna do with an open eye so I like doing these guys with uh, the big round circle. And I added a couple highlights to it. And you can do a uh, eyebrow like that. So this is what that one looks like with an open eye. And this was my one that I showed you at first with the closed eye with the eyelashes, okay? So just like this one, we're going to do that hair right at the top of his head. And it's another smiley line and then a curved line on top. So smiley line, curved line on top. And I'll demonstrate how to do this kind of horn. So basically you do Uh, little wavy lines 
something this. And then you can connect them like that. Okay. So that's just how to do the unicorn's horn where it looks like it's uh, wrapping around the horn by just doing these curved lines. Or if you want, you can just do like the original one that I did here, a straight line, straight line, and then do the lines that go across. Okay, so here is this one closer up so you can see. And there's this one with the straight triangle. Okay, so now we have the unicorn with his cheek the nose, the neck coming down, and then adding the eyes, the nostrils, the smile, the hair right here, and then the horn, okay? So we're gonna keep going, and I'm gonna show you guys on this one. So watch on this one, and then we can draw together for the next one. You're gonna add the ear right behind his hair right here, it's going to be a curved triangle just like that. And then you're going to add a smaller triangle in it, just that front line, just like that. Okay? So watch again on this one, um, or we'll draw together on this one. So triangle and inner ear. Now for his hair. So if you were gonna color this one, you can color these parts like a rainbow. So lots of unicorns, um, the ones that I've seen, of course, are uh, they have rainbow colored hair. So each of these could be the colors of the rainbow or one, uh, they could be separate colors. So that is up to you. So for the hair, you're just gonna make curly lines all the way down his neck. So if you had a pencil, or if you just want to visualize, so I'll draw it for you. You can just draw the neck like this as a guideline with a pencil and you can erase that later. Um, but you're gonna have the hair coming down. And you can color those all sorts of different colors or you can make them each rainbow colored, however you wanted to do it. Now, if you were just drawing a normal horse, you could draw a horse just like that. Take out the horn and there you go. You have your normal horse. Okay, now that I've done it on this one, we can draw together on this one. If you wanna do the guideline with your pencil, you can draw a line down just like this. Now I'm drawing really lightly because it's just a guideline that's going to be erased. So I'll bring it up closer so you can see a very faint line right there is the back of his head. And we're going to add the hair going all the way down. So it's a curly line. And another one. And if you want, you can add more. So it goes like that. So this is the mane. That's the forelock. There's his cheek, his nose, and the front of his neck. So obviously, if the horse's body were to continue, it would be right here. But we were just doing the head. And I've shown you with the eyelashes, so the eyes closed, and the big eye, round eye with the highlight. So that is our first unicorn, just the head. And we're gonna go move on to the next. So the great thing about these live stream classes is you can do them with me live. Um, if you happen to, like if I seem to go too fast, if I'm going too fast for a section, um, you can always come back and watch or you can pause it and watch it slower. Um, because these tend to go very fast and I don't want you to rush. So if you do need to stop or pause, uh, watch it later or anything like that, um, that's cool too. And that's great, but it's a great thing that um, we have this ability to do the class live as if we were in person, but then there's also the ability to stop and pause and watch at your own convenience. So we're gonna go move on to this cute sitting unicorn. And 
we're going to begin this like uh, we did with our uh, cats and dogs that we did last week. So I'm going to start with the eyes. So we're going to do a round circle and imagine the space of an eye in between. So there's an eye in here and then another round circle. So try to get them even, but you know, it's okay if they're a little bit different. I'm gonna draw a circle inside for the highlight and then another tinier circle and then color it in, okay? Okay, after I get those two eyes in, we're gonna do his nose, which is a circle in between where these eyes are, but lower. And it's gonna look like that. It's a little bit larger than the eyes. Smile and the two dots for his nose. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm going to pull this over here and if you want, you can draw with me or you can watch again um, and draw later. It's up to you. But I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to make my two circles. So one circle. My second circle is an eye apart. I add circle inside for the highlight, smaller circle inside and color in, just like that. Then I do his nose, a little bit bigger, add the smile and the two nose holes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up closer so you guys can see. I started with one circle then I did the other circle. I drew a smaller circle inside for the highlight and then an even tinier circle for each of the eyes and colored them in. Then I did a round larger circle for his nose, his snout, gave him a smile and put in the little nose holes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next step, which is making the shape of his head. So I want you guys to think of his head as a rounded triangle, so like a candy corn shape, but the top of it is missing. But the bottom is kind of like a, just the bottom of the candy corn. So we're gonna start a little bit to the side of his eye. You come out as if going to the bottom of a triangle, round it out and come back up. So this one's a little bit bigger, but luckily I get a second chance to try. So you get it to do it again. So if you wanna draw with me for this one, you come out, don't come out too much. I think I came out too much on the other one, but that's okay. And come back up like that, okay? So that is the shape of his head. Okay? So now that I have the shape of his head here, I'm gonna add his ears. So it's a triangle, triangle. Make sure you leave space for his horn in between. Smaller triangle inside. And then you can draw the horn right at the center. So for this one, I'm gonna draw a triangle and make the curved lines. And then you can add his hair behind his horn, just like that, okay? So now that you watch me on this one, we can do it together on this one. So ear, ear, triangle inside, horn. Uh, another way that you can do the horn is you can do the curved lines all the way to the top and the top one is the smallest one. And then you can curve the lines to connect. 
and then draw the pointy one at the top. Okay, so that is this guy. I'm going to draw his hair in the background just like that. So now we have his full head and we can move on to his body. So his body we're going to do in two sections. So if you look closer, you'll see that there's this part, which kind of looks like pants. So you're going to have this part as the front of his body. And then we're going to do his little legs in the back, just like this. Okay. So we're going to start on the bottom of his neck, on the bottom of his head right here. I'm going to come down. Those are his little feet. Come up. And then I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to come down, round out for the bottom of his foot, and then come up. I only come up halfway, and then I'm going to do a curvy smile line right here for the bottom of his front part of his body. Now, unicorns have hoofs, so we can give him his little hoof lines right there. And now that you've watched me do that guy, we can do it together. Okay, so we're going to start with this guy same way. We're going to come down, round out for the bottom of his foot because he has a hoof. Come up halfway. Do the other side. Come up. And smiley line to connect, just like that. And then give him his hoofs. Awesome. So that is the front part of his body for the seated unicorn. To do the back part of his body, it's similar to what we did with the cats and dogs. There is a hill, and then this rounds out like that. Hill on the other side, rounds out. Give him his hoofs, and the bottom of his body just like that. And for this unicorn, he has a straight tail with a pointy puff at the back, just like that. Okay, so now that you've watched, we can do this one together. So this is the front part of his body. Those are his front legs. To do the back legs, we'll do a hill, come down, round out for the bottom of his foot. Other side, that's the bottom of his body. Give him his hooves, his skinny tail, and the puff at the end, just like that. So now we have two different kinds of unicorns. There's that one, that one. And if you want, you can add eyebrows, or you can add Eyelashes, just like that. Okay, so now we have two different kinds of unicorns and we'll move on to the next one. So the next one is um, a super cute unicorn. Unicorn, I love this one. It's kind of like a, like a round fluffy cloud kind of unicorn. So we're gonna start this guy with his body shape. And I'm gonna start with a pencil because I just wanna get that body shape um, down first to get his size. And if you look, you'll see that his body shape is an oval. So that's what I'm gonna start out with. I'm gonna put an oval and I'm gonna draw a little harder so you guys can see because I know it's hard to see pencil marks. But since this is a guideline, uh, you guys might want to do it just a little bit lighter. So there's my oval, just like that. Okay. Now that I have my shape, I'm going to do the bottom of my unicorn first. I'm going to add his leg, this leg right here. It's going to come out like that. And then I'm going to continue up to where his neck starts. Okay, and I can show you on the second one. Actually, let's just finish with this one and then I'll show you guys. So watch what I'm doing for this 
and then we can do it together. Okay, so now I have the oval and the front leg. I'm going to come back and do the back leg, this leg right here. So first we have to draw the thigh and then come out for his leg and come back in. And we'll do the back of his body just like that. So now I have this leg and this leg, this leg and this leg, and I have to do the back legs. So the back legs are in front of the legs that we already drew, but they don't cross the line of his body. So you'll see that we've drawn this line, this leg, and this leg, um, and then this line and this line. So this leg right here is in front of the leg that we drew, but it doesn't cross this line, okay? So that's how we're gonna draw it next. We'll draw this leg first, and then we'll draw this leg. Okay, you can give your unicorn his hooves just like that. So now we have our unicorn. It has four legs, like all unicorns should, and we're going to draw his tail. So this tail right here is just a series of curved lines. And you can just play around with what his tail is supposed to look like. There's no like perfect way to draw it. And then you're going to draw the top part of his body right here, which is following the line of that oval. Make sure you leave space. So make sure from here to here is where his neck is going to be. So don't um, draw a line on that. And I just drew his back right there. And we're going to move on to his head. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his neck. That's the front of his neck. And come back with our pencil and draw the back of his neck. But remember, this line is going to be covered up by his hair. So we're just drawing a guideline with our pencil. Uh, just for now. We're going to do his cheek. And his nose. So basically, it's the same thing as this guy right here. You can draw his nose, you can draw a smile, and his big eye with the highlight. We're gonna do, just like this, the curly hair, his horn, and then the hair coming down, following line of the back of his neck. And that is my unicorn. So that's a different kind of unicorn. But basically, we just took what we learned from drawing this guy and plugged it into this guy and gave him a body. So now that you watch that, we're going to do it again. This time you can draw with me. So I'm going to move this to the side so that you guys can see. So the first step that we did for this one is we had to draw our, where is it? There he is. We had to draw our oval for his body shape. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the oval. And don't draw this too dark because this is just a guideline. That's his oval, just like that. I'm going to draw the bottom of his body. So here's where the legs are. The legs are going to go right here. So you don't want to cross that line. So I'm going to draw the bottom of his body, his front leg coming out, his back leg. So first I draw the thigh and the back leg. The line, curved line for the back of his body, curved line for the front of his body. I'm going to add this leg and this leg and give him his hooves. So now I have all four legs. I'm going to add his tail.
So each of these sections could be a different color. So our unicorn could be really colorful. I'm going to add his back. And going back to my pencil, I'm going to give him his neck like this. Okay? That's just so I know where the guideline is to draw his hair. So front of his neck. Come back to this guy. I know the next thing is his cheek, his nose. Give him his nostril, his smile, and his eye. Do the hair. And the horn. Oh, I forgot his ear for this one. And don't forget his ear. And then you can do the hair. And that is our jumping rounded unicorn. Okay, so now we have three different kinds of unicorns. So I'm going to show them close. We did this one first. We did this guy, which is a completely different kind, seated, and his face shape is different. And then this one, which is basically this guy with a body. Okay, so I'm going to move this. And I just found out that I forgot to do the ear, so I'm just going to add the ear like that. Ta-da! And we're going to move to this guy, which is a standing unicorn. So for the standing unicorn, we can go ahead and start with his eye. And I'm actually going to um, come in and do a couple of my guidelines with a pencil. Because since this guy's standing and you want to get the proportions right, sometimes it's good to plan out what you're going to do, um, even though that's well, just always good to plan. Okay, so I've got my paper ready. I'm going to give this guy his gigantic eye. So these guys are more like the cartoon horses. Um, so some of them have the exaggerated large eye. Uh, they're not the horses that I would draw if I was trying to make a realistic horse. But these guys are mythological creatures. So we really can play around with what they look like. Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to do his cheek right here. I'm going to give him his nose. Now this one has a little bit of a different shape. The nose comes in and then the head comes up. So there's this curved area for his head. So you can do them in different ways. And now that I've got his head shape, I add his nose and his smile. I'm going to move to my pencil um, and just give myself an idea of where I want to put the rest of his body parts. So I'm going to plot in where I want his horn. I'm going to put in his ear. I'm going to show where I have the back of my neck and the front and I'm going to do and I'm going to draw these a little bit darker than you would. I'm going to do a circle here and a smaller circle for the back. Okay so I'm going to move those up so you guys can see. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to figure out where the camera is. So I have his face. I plotted in where his horn is, his ear, his neck. From the neck, I do a bigger circle right underneath his neck. And this smaller circle behind it is his back area. Okay. So now that I have those two circles, I am going to finish uh, the drawing keeping in mind where those things are. So I'm going to give him his hair. I'm going to give him his horn. Do his ear. And as you can see, like, if you just do a bunch of curly lines, that usually works. Because we know where the back of his neck is, we know what line we want to follow. And you can add just, like, curls for his mane, however you want. And here are my two circles here. I'm going to connect these two lines by doing 
a curved line like this coming around the back end for the back of his leg. Same thing for right here. I'm going to do the front of his neck right here. Come around like this. And then I'm going to connect these two parts like this. So these are his back legs. This is where his front legs are, okay? Come down, give him his front leg. Just like that. I follow the curve of this smaller circle in the back for his thigh. And his back leg looks like that. Give him the hoofs. Do the leg behind it. And then the leg behind this one. And do his tail. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to move it closer so you guys can see. <laughs> there he is. There he is. So you can see that I've drawn his head. I have this larger circle for his front thigh and then this smaller circle in the back for his back thigh. And I have his front leg, which comes straight down. His back leg curves back and then comes forward. And then the leg on this other side is behind it. Okay, so now that you've watched that, um, when I go back and color, I erase those circles. I'm gonna do it again. And this time, if you wanna follow along and draw your, your own, we can do that as well. You can do that as well. Okay, so I started with my eye. I colored it in, had my highlight, highlight, I did my smiley line for his cheek, added his nose. This one, the nose comes straight and goes up a hill for the top of his head. And then I moved on to my pencil to plot out where his head would go, his neck, his ear, and his horn. Then I did my larger circle for his front thigh, smaller circle for his back thigh. These are just guidelines. I'm just drawing them darker so you guys can see. Okay, now that I have those plotted, I'm gonna do front of his neck. I'm gonna give him his hair, his horn, ear, do the rest of his mane. Connect the back. So it connects these two circles. And I can even do his belly at this time too. So his belly goes at the bottom connects those two circles just like that. Add his noses and smile and do his legs. So I follow the front of that curve for his front leg. And then I follow this curve for his back leg. Back leg goes back, comes forward. and add the tail. Just like that. So now this is a standing unicorn. Um, we've got his legs and kind of had an idea of how to draw the horse's body from the two circles. And we are gonna move on to our last unicorn, which is this guy right here. So we're gonna build it the same way. If you want, we can also use our pencil for this one. You are gonna start with that oval shape, same kind of shape that you made for this one, but it's a little bit skinnier. 
Remember, it's just a guideline. So you're going to be drawing yours just a little bit lighter because you're going to erase it. I'm drawing mine a little bit darker so you guys can see. So that's my oval right there. Um, and you can go ahead and you can draw the horse's neck just as your guideline, just like that. And we can get started. So to start, you know the bottom of his neck is right here. We can just go ahead and draw that in. Um, we're going to do the smile for his cheek. So this smile line right here. Give him his nose. Nostril smile. Eye. And his hair. His horn. Ear and his mane. So you can follow that neck all the way down, just like that. Okay, so now we have the front of the horse. You're going to come around for his back like this, and you can add his tail. Just like that. the back of his body. And we're going to do this leg right here. You follow a curve of the front of his thigh. And since he's jumping, his leg just comes straight back like that. And you can give him a, a hoof. And draw the leg behind him. Just like that. So now we have this whole part of his body done. And now we just need to do this. You follow the bottom of that oval. And his front leg comes out like this. And the leg behind it comes out like that. And he's jumping. So before you color it, you would just erase this oval line. You'd erase these guys. Uh, and then the guideline for the top one as well. Now that you've seen me do this one, we can do the second one together. So I'm gonna move this paper so you guys can watch um, and draw along with me for this one. Now that you've already seen it done once, um, you can do yours. Okay, so once again, I'm starting with my oval, I'm drawing it pretty dark so you guys can see. Then I do his neck just like that. So now you have an idea of where his body is and proportionally how his neck comes out and you'll know that his head is right here. Okay. So I'm going to start with can do the front of his neck. I'll do his cheek. Come up for his nose. Do the nostril and the smile. Add his eye. Do his hair and his horn and his ear, which is a pointed uh, curvy triangle with a triangle inside. And then I can do his mane, just like this guy, following that line for the back of his neck, going all the way down, just like that. So I follow that line, that guideline that I drew. I drew the mane going down that guideline. Then I can do the rest of his body. So that's his back end and his tail. So, I mean, you can see that I did this tail differently than this tail and that tail is different. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same every single time that you draw it. Then I'm going to do his front thigh right here. His back leg is just like this, kicks out like that. And do the leg behind it. Then his belly is right here. Do this leg. And leg behind it. And I had to connect this line right here. 
And that is my last unicorn. So hopefully you guys got an, a chance to draw your unicorns too. And it just gives you an idea of, of how different you can make these unicorns look but they all follow the same kind of, um, you know, they have the same defining characteristics. So obviously when you're drawing your unicorn, it's like a horse, but it has that horn. Um, if you were to draw a horse, maybe you would draw the mane differently. The reason I separate these out into different sections is because when I color them, um, I'm gonna color them with different colors, uh, like a rainbow. So if you were to color them, um, you know, you could do one would be pink, one would be blue, one would be green, however you want to do it. Um, and then your unicorn could be white. Um, or if you have sparkles, you know, you could add sparkles to your unicorn. Uh, if you want to ever draw sparkles, I draw my sparkles just like that. So I always associate unicorns with sparkles anyway. You can draw little sparkles around the horns um, and just make them really super cute and colorful. Uh, so that is how I've drawn my unicorns. Your defining characteristics would be the colorful mane, the horn, um, the colorful tail, there are also unicorns that have wings. I know they have a certain name, but I'm actually not, I don't know what that name is. Um, one of the kids that used to come into class actually told me what they were because there is a unicorn Pegasus that is uh, a My Little Pony. So they let me know what kind of animal that was, um, but I just happened to forget. forget. But so those are our unicorns, our mythological creatures for today. Um, this is actually what we're painting tomorrow for the Longmont Chamber of Commerce Tunes and Art Tuesday. So if you guys want to come back for that, definitely do. I'm going to turn the screen up so you guys can see me again and we can say goodbye for the day. Uh, so thanks for coming to class with me. I hope you guys uh, got a chance to draw some unicorns. Um, and... If you did, share them with me so you can send them to me on a Facebook message or if you can, you can post on the Facebook uh, Drawing Unicorns event page. Um, I'm not sure you can actually share them to the Facebook, uh, the Firehouse Art Center Facebook page directly, but uh, if I get the pictures, I will share them. And I love doing so because I love seeing the art that you guys are creating um, while we are at our houses. Um, as I said before, I'm with the Firehouse Art Center and the Firehouse Art Center is currently closed, but we are looking to open um, pretty soon, as soon as we get all of the safety precautions put into place. Um, just a couple of news items that I have. This is gonna be a busy week for the Firehouse. Uh, we have our Tunes and Art Tuesday, as I said, uh, uh, partnership with the Lamont Chamber of Commerce. We're gonna be on their website, their Facebook page, with our uh, watercolor painting class tomorrow at 4 p.m. It is a quick class. I'll show you how in 10 to 15 minutes you can make a watercolor painting, even as a beginning watercolorist. Um, on Wednesday, we are going to be featured on Longmont, uh, the Downtown Development um, Authorities page for their Strongmont feature. Um, and we're gonna be doing our Wednesday class with them, our Wednesday kids class, and that is gonna be printing mermaids. So for that class, Wednesday's class, you're going to need um, paint. Um, you're going to need styrofoam, which you can get from a styrofoam plate or a styrofoam takeout container. Uh, we're actually going to be eating at um, East Moon. Well, eating at. We're going to get delivery from East Moon because I do know that they have styrofoam containers and we love eating there. Um, so you need styrofoam for a styrofoam container. Uh, you'll need paint. Um, I suggest getting some kind of metallic paint for printing mermaids because that just looks super cool. So, um, and then paper and coloring tools. So whether you use colored pencils and uh, crayons for that, um, that would be for the rest of the mermaid's body. So uh, we're gonna be featured um, Wednesday for that, for Strongmont, and we're gonna be doing that kids class with them. Um, and then Friday, we have our multimedia sculpture class, which is going to be, 
for the kids, you'll need uh, coffee filters, watercolor, and pipe cleaners. Um, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can uh, just find stuff around the house. I'll We'll make it work. Um, we try to do these classes with stuff that you have at home because obviously it's kind of hard to get supplies right now. Uh, so we always try and make it work with whatever we can find at home. Um, so hopefully I will see you again for any of those classes. Share your art with me and I'll share it with the community and we appreciate that. Um, tomorrow is Giving Tuesday now, which is a, um, a day of unified uh, nonprofit giving uh, that was put together in response to the emergency created by uh, COVID-19 closures for nonprofits. So if you can at this time, that would be great if you could donate uh, to support the firehouse, whether it's our online classes or uh, whether it's supporting us coming back safely so that we can see our community again and uh, start serving our community as we have in the past. Um, but check out our Facebook page, check out our uh, website, firehousearts.org, uh, firehouse art firehouseart.org. Um, and uh, I will see you hopefully this week for all of our other classes. Thanks. Bye.